Hello everyone, this is Al Fadi and I'd like to welcome you to the Lotus Reason video series. Thank you for joining us as always and hopefully you've been enjoying this particular uh, apologetic series on Tawheed Dilemma. And uh, thank you of course for your partnership and support, not only of me but also of my wonderful guest here, Sam Shamoun, who is with me in studio. Sam, welcome uh, back, brother. <coughs> and before we forget, I'll be uh, really remiss uh, not to remind people of how they can reach yes. out to you, connect with you, and even support yes, your brother. Yes, amen. Yeah, your prayers are truly appreciated for me and my two angels, my two girls from gift from Jesus. You can find me on answeringislamblog.wordpress.com. Also, you can find my material on answeringislam.net by going to individual authors. And also, please go to my YouTube page, Shamunian, S-H-A-M-O-U-N, IAN, please subscribe and hit the like button on the videos and let's make it go viral for the glory of Jesus. And you can find ways to help me financially to do the ministry on those sites. There's links to my patron page, PayPal, etc. But please do pray and ask the Lord to stir up hearts for the support because we can use it for the glory of Christ. Amen. And of course, I remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sira International, and be sure, of course, to like him and also share him so that people will hear uh, this message and this reminder of how to connect with our brother as well. And you can become also a supporter of our ministry and our channel as a Patreon patron. I think you have Patreon yes, as well. Yes, 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 yes. Shemunian patron and also PayPal and other means as well. Wonderful. So, so Sam, in the last couple of sessions, you've been really unpacking the title Messiah yes. or the Messiah as mentioned of Jesus in the Quran and showing how that will be a devastating it is actually title annihilation. because it yeah. elevates the status of Jesus automatically if we were to rely on the Old Testament alone, Just, not yeah, to mention, exactly. of course, the Bible in general. Yeah, yeah. so now I want to further confirm that when the Quran says Jesus is the Messiah without explaining it, that means the Muslims have no choice but to go to the previous scriptures to find out what it means. And we said that to be the Messiah means you have to be a king from the line of David who's God in the flesh. Let me just look at two references from the New Testament to show that even the Jews know, knew Messiah is a king. So he's not just a prophet. Here, Luke, uh, Luke 23, 2-3. Luke 23, two to three, it says, and they began to accuse him saying, we found this fellow perverting the nation, meaning Jesus, and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. So to claim to be Christ is to claim to be a king. And Pilate asked him, asked Jesus saying, art thou the king of the Jews? And he answered him and said, thou sayest this, you, you even say it. And this is again confirmed in John 19, 12, John 19, 12. And from thenceforth, Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews cried out, saying, If thou let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. See, he claims to be Christ. He makes himself a king. And you know that if he's going to make himself a king, he's opposing Caesar, so you got to punish them, right? So clearly, Old New Testaments agree. Messiah is the king. New Testament says Jesus Messiah. The Quran agrees. Therefore, the Muslims cannot escape the fact that by acknowledging Jesus is Messiah, they're acknowledging Jesus is king. But if Jesus is not on earth, as the New Testament confirms and the Quran agrees, and Islamic tradition verifies, but he's with God above the heavens, then that means Jesus must be a king ruling from heaven over the earth. You can't escape that, that argument. But we, even before we go there, let me show you what the angel Gabriel said to Mary. You remember the prophecy in Isaiah 9? That's right. It says in Isaiah 9, verse 1 and 2, a great light will shine from Galilee of the nations. And that great light will be a child born, a son given, to reign on David's throne, who is the mighty God, right? That's right. Now here's what's ironic. Muslims say that the angel Gabriel came to Muhammad. Yet the message of Gabriel about Jesus to Muhammad contradicts the message this Gabriel gave to Mary. So not only do you have in the Quran a counterfeit God, a counterfeit Jesus, a counterfeit spirit, you even have a counterfeit Gabriel. It's not the real McCoy. That's right. Because let's see what the real Gabriel said to Mary. Luke 1 26 to 33. <clears throat> Luke 1, 26 to 33. Remember the language. Galilee of the nations, a great light. Great. Child born, son given, sits on the throne of David. And then the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The prophecy in Isaiah 9 says he'll sit on the throne of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. The Lord is with you. Blessed art thou. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutations this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou, you have found favor with God. 
And behold, you, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son. Unto us a child is born, a son is given. You will bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, a great light from Galilee. Where is this? Galilee. And shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Isaiah 9, 7 says, He will sit on Amen. David's throne, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. You can't get any clearer than this. That's right. Old Testament, New Testament agree. Messiah is the son of God, a child born, the mighty God in the flesh, sitting on David's throne, ruling it forever. They both agree over against Islam. Now, with that said, does the Quran affirm what the New Testament says, that when Jesus died and was raised physically to immortal life, where he was made physically indestructible, he then ascended to the right hand of God and sits enthroned with the Father in heaven. Does the Quran affirm Jesus' physical ascension to God, even though the Elder of the Quran is not his Father and he's not the true God, does it affirm it? Absolutely. Go to chapter 3, verse 55 and read it for us. And I want everybody to follow along with us here. So you see what it says? And when God said, I want everyone to hear this. Now, this is not the true God, but still, for argument's sake, when God said, Jesus, I will take thee to me and will raise thee to me, and I will purify thee of those who believe not. I will set thy followers above the unbelievers till the day of resurrection, or resurrection day. Then unto me shall you return, and I will decide between you as to what you are at variance on. Now notice what Allah supposedly tells Isa, Jesus. I will gather thee to me and raise thee to me. Rafi, it didn't say, okay. I will raise you yeah. to the second heaven That's or the right. third heaven. Because uh -huh. in Islamic theology, there are seven heavens. Above the heavens. I will raise you to me. Take you to me. Throne. Wherever Allah is, he's there. Now, this he's is also confirmed. And 4.158, what does 4.158 say? And I just want to say one thing here. Uh, uh, this is just for uh, a side note. Maybe in the future we can do it. If we can go back to this slide, I want to note, uh, no, you know, show something. That God is clearly making a distinction in the Quran, supposedly, between those who follow Jesus and those who don't. Those who don't follow him are called unbelievers. Exactly. Not submitters, unbelievers. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Now, if you go to 4158, it further confirms that Allah took Jesus to himself. And We're almost here, done here. Here it is. Notice, it says, God raised him, Isa, up to him. Not to the second heaven or a third heaven. Up to him, where Allah is, God is almighty always. Now, the mutawatir ahadith, meaning the multiply attested narrations attributed to Muhammad, say that Allah took Jesus physically to himself and Jesus will return physically, which we'll talk about in a future session. So Jesus was taken physically to Allah and will return physically at the end to kill the Antichrist, al Messiah al-Dajjal, and rule the entire earth for 40 years. And we'll talk about the second coming in a future session. But here's the problem. These two passages explicitly say Allah took Jesus to himself. So I asked the Muslim, where is Allah? Now, if it's a Salafi Muslim, he'll tell me he's above the seven heavens, above the throne. Being above the throne signifies that Allah has supreme power, sovereign authority over all creation. Now, according to Tawheed, Tawheed al rububiyyah Tawheed al rububiyyah right. Allah alone is exalted above creation as its Lord. But wait, here it says, Allah took Jesus to himself. So if Allah is above the seven heavens, above the throne, guess where Jesus is? He's above the heavens and above the throne. But to be in that position means that Jesus is with Allah over creation as sovereign Lord. That's the implication. Not only that, Jesus is there physically and bodily. And not only that, wow. but I can even take it further. Yes. This even confirms that the only person who can see Allah is Jesus himself. And he's with him. See him. In the bosom yes. of the Father. So here again, Muhammad yeah. apes what he hears from Christians, takes over what he hears from Christians, adopts it as part of his religion, not realizing he's destroying the very claims he makes as a prophet. Because remember what we read in the previous session, in, in chapter 18, 26 of the Quran, and chapter 25, verse 2, it says, Allah does not share his rule with anyone. He has no son or partner's dominion. And yet here, in these two verses, Jesus is with Allah above the throne, thereby sharing in his rule over creation, you have a clear-cut contradiction thanks to Muhammad. And here is what I want to add, my brother, here. Yes. Allah himself announced to Mary the coming of the good news 
of Jesus, yeah. his word. Yes. So he came from Allah and he goes exactly. back to Allah. Because Jesus didn't originate yeah. from the dust like everyone else, That's like right. Muhammad returned to dust, Adam did. Mm -hmm. He came down from Allah's word and went back. So he went back from where he came. He came down as a spirit, took flesh, went back up in flesh. If you didn't know any better, you think a Christian wrote those portions of the Quran. That's right. And it's a there copy and paste. And uh, we really commend Muhammad for uh, inventing the copy and paste uh, technology. Even though it's full of contradictions. And that's it. So Jesus is a member mm -hmm. of the Islamic Godhead, whether Muslims like it or not. Well, brother, I mean, uh, of course, this is the conclusion, at least, of this part of the series. Yes. But uh, there is a lot, a lot uh, to more come. To talk about. And uh, we will be doing more and more of this. And by the way, uh, pray for us. One of the things that uh, we're appealing to you, of course, to always partner with us uh, is to enable us to, me and Sam, to begin to do live shows on a monthly basis, at least at the beginning, hopefully through Zoom, uh, via Facebook, and uh, YouTube, as well, YouTube yeah. uh, as well in other ways, so that we will be able to add your immediate questions and you will be able to ask uh, my brother uh, things that are on your heart basically from some of his reading uh, I mean writings and so on and so forth so uh, you can see why we're always honored and blessed to have uh, our dear brother with us here uh, because we want to serve the Lord together and we want to partner together but we covet your partnership with us as well and your prayers brother Thank you so much. Thank and the Lord uh, Jesus one more Christ. again, uh, one more time, uh, remind people how they can get a hold yes. of you. Uh, AnsweringIslamBlog.wordpress.com. That's where you're going to find my latest articles, and I regularly update the blog. You can also find my older material on AnsweringIslam.net by going to individual authors. And then please subscribe to my YouTube page, Shamunian, S H A M O U N I A N. And hit the like buttons on the videos and pass it on. And you can find ways of supporting me financially on my YouTube page as well as on my blog. And do pray for that support because, again, we're in full-time ministry depending on the goodness of the Lord working through his people. Because I got two angels to take care of, my precious Sarayans of Poor. So pray for them that God will bless them richly Amen. and bless your family for the glory of Jesus. Thank you. And uh, you might be surprised to know that I, too, have uh, just few articles uh, on answering Islam, and uh, I pray that we'll be able to continue, of course, Amen. to add more to that. I love to do a lot of videos because to me, I feel like, you know, talking it out and expressing it, yep. uh, uh, you know, good. delivers the message a lot faster, for, at least from my perspective. So uh, remember also to go to my YouTube channel, Sira International, become a subscriber, and also we encourage you to prayerfully consider to become a Patreon patron and give to our ministries, uh, mine or Sam's, as little as one dollar sometimes uh, could be more than enough uh, basically if many of you will do that and we thank yeah. you again for your partnership Amen. until we meet again have a blessed day thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe also hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos and please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International and together we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.